Joining us now is Nelson Peltz. He's Triant Partners founder and CEO. Nelson, great to have you. Um, so much to get to. Let me start by uh, changing a quote from a famous movie with my first question. Of all the companies and all the industries and all the world, you got to walk into Disney. Why? Why Disney? And why you? David, good morning. And good morning, Jim. Why not? We, we have skin in the game. You know, we look at a company and we look at Disney and we say that this is the most advantaged consumer company on the planet. And we love it. That's the reason why we're here. However, the TSR, the total shareholder return over one, three, five, ten years has materially underperformed the S&P and underperformed the proxy peers that the companies selected. Mo equally as important, there are a lot of retail investors in this company. They eliminated the dividend that was in effect for 57 years. 57 years of a dividend, and now it's gone. And now they want to tell us that everything is going to be great again. We think that we can help. We have a record of helping, David. David, yep. I know you've seen our slide deck. You know, if I you have. look at our I slide have. deck, okay. Uh, if our slide deck only had three pages on it, it would be page five, which is the stock chart. That yep. would be our first page. Okay. It would be page eight. That would be our second slide. Page eight tells us that on every board that I have served on, and I've probably served on more boards than anybody that I know, that company, whatever board it was, has outperformed the S&P by 900 right. basis points Annually, annually. Nelson, and you know, Nelson, David, people, we're very people long can, term. I know you are. You're very long term, average of as much as six years. That cannot be a criticism leveled against trying in any way. Um, and people can follow at home when you call out page numbers. But let me come to some specifics here as well, which is, you know, you're going after a company that has now announced it's replacing its chairman, that since you built your position has replaced its CEO and that has embarked on a cost-cutting program that seems to at least mirror to a certain extent some of the things you're asking for. Why continue to want a board seat when they seem to be doing a lot of very active things, Nelson? <laughs> Think of all the positive impacts we've had in just such a short period of time. Think how much more we can help. The fact that they changed their chairman, well, they had to. Miss Arnold is stepping down this year. But they picked Mr. Parker, who did a wonderful job at Nike. Now Mr. Parker will be the second of only two people that we know of in corporate America that are chairman of two companies simultaneously. But he was here. He voted for the Fox acquisition. He voted to, to make the acquisition of Sky. Think about that. They lost about $50 billion on Fox. Fox hurt this company. Fox took the dividend away. Fox took created what was once a pristine balance sheet into a mess. Right. Had they bought right. Sky, which he and everybody else bought, they would have spent $100 billion. They would have spent $34 billion at their price for something that analysts estimate today is worth nine. All true. All so true, Nelson. Although on, when it comes to Sky, that, yeah, when it comes to Sky, obviously, they did bid it up, but then our parent company paid, and they benefited from that as a significant shareholder and owner of Fox, that being Disney. You know, listen, I know you're, you're focused you're, on the Fox deal. David, David. Yeah, David, yes. you're 100% right. But the $50 billion is after the sky proceeds. 